this isn't quite focusing right. Huh. Okay, so so glad you're here. Hi, Style Sisters. Um, Mary Lee, you're here. I'm so glad you're here. So, is everybody glad it is Thursday? Hey, Style Sisters, tell me what your name is. Um, so I can chat with you by name, okay? Um, is everyone excited that it's Thursday and tomorrow is the weekend? Hey, Karen. Um, okay, so today I am going to be talking about why you should be on Periscope if you're a blogger. So if you know someone that needs to hear this, this is the time to, to share this. Swipe to your right on the iPhone and scroll down. Um, if you're on an iPhone, and then hit share, and if you're on an Android, then just um, swipe up. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Karen, for inviting followers. If you're on an Android, just um, swipe up, and um, then you'll be able to share that way. Hi, Furniture Fair. Okay, so I'm going to take y'all off this blurry, blurry, blurry. Okay, that was my blog post yesterday, by the way. Ten tips to build your confidence for your first scope. Hey, Raised in Cotton. Okay, I'm switching this over now. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so glad y'all are here today. And, like, let me try to adjust this. In all my scopes, there are fans showing. That's because I live in Palm Desert, California. And, um, gosh, it's a cool day here. It's only 110. So, hey, we're all rejoicing. Um, hi there. Ole Carousel. Oh, I love seeing all your fun names. So, um, if you if you don't mind, let me know what your actual name is. If it's different, you know, if your handle is your brand and not your actual name. And let's see, if you like what I have to share today, I'd love it if you'd tap the screen and give me some hearts. And that's how I'll know that you're resonating with something that I'm sharing. And um, everyone loves heart love. I think I have 3,000 something now. It's not a lot of hearts, but hey, it's getting there. So I'm excited about that. And okay, my name's Andrea. I blog at tablerpartyof2.com. And I've been blogging for about a year. And um, before that, I've done marketing, graphic design, advertising for about 26 years. And about a year ago, after we had moved to the desert, I decided to um, start a blog. And I love just doing life and sharing about it. I love to um, do recipes and crafts. I share faith stories, empty nest adventures, and one of my biggest passions is helping other bloggers. So um, I've been doing it about a year and I, I just, I feel like there's things that I went the long way to learn and I'd rather you not have to go the long way. So whether you're a brand new blogger or you're ready to go to your next step, um, that's you're the one I want to help and today I want to help any bloggers who who haven't taken that first step to get on Periscope yet um, maybe you're just a little bit nervous about it I was I can be sure about that I was really nervous um, but I just want to encourage you to do it and today I want to tell you why okay here is why you should be on Periscope if you are a blogger first of all I'd say the biggest um, concern I hear from bloggers about why they're not on Periscope is they say they just can't handle one more thing. And um, hey, I can relate to that, definitely. I thought I couldn't handle one more thing either. However, the cool thing about Periscope, I just realized I didn't turn my music down. There. The cool thing about Periscope is you can repurpose your content. So, for instance, um, today, I shared a recipe on Periscope. I shared how to make a recipe that's on my blog. And then I referred um, the listeners or the viewers back to my blog to see the, or see how, you know, what the ingredients are and the directions. And another neat thing you can do is you can do a Periscope like I'm doing today, for instance, on a topic that I'm going to blog about tomorrow. So today, um, I'm sharing why you should be on Periscope if you're a blogger, and I'm going to give you a few reasons why. Tomorrow, I'm going to blog about the same topic, but I'm going to give you even more reasons. So I'm hoping that you'll stop by Table Party of Two tomorrow and check out um, some of my other reasons why I think you should be scoping. So the other things that you can do, gosh, there's a lot of things. You can repurpose your videos onto YouTube. For, for instance, um, let's say it's a tutorial or something. I don't have a YouTube channel, but I'm about to get one just for that purpose. 
and you can also so you can you can scope and then blog what you scoped you could even have your scope transcribed if you so desired um, and then you can scope what you blog so it works both ways you can just share the content back and forth because things that I blogged about a year ago is sort of old news that people who are watching me on Periscope haven't haven't seen any of that so it's not very difficult to come up with content and um, a lot of a lot of um, podcasters are periscoping live and they're recording their podcasts for the next day so everyone who's doing this is repurposing their content so you're not adding another thing to your list you are actually killing two three four birds with one stone um, a couple other ideas uh, I purchased a short little uh, class a little online class from Scopra if y'all aren't following Scopra you really must S-C-O-P-R-A-H. She's amazing. Her name is Nicole Walters. She's such a hoot. And uh, she, she has a website called Monetize Thyself. Anyway, I bought a class from her. And when I received the download to view the class and watch it, it was a Periscope that she had saved. Now, keep in mind, your Periscope will only save on the app for 24 hours. But if you go and register with catch.me, that's K A T C H dot me and you are scoping through Twitter which I hope you all are then catch dot me will record all your periscopes so that you can put them on YouTube you can repurpose them later hi there DIY mommy of five how fun you must be very busy <laughs> um, anyway you can uh, you can grab your um, videos off catch.me and you can save them to your iPhone. I do that too. I just had to go in and erase a whole lot of stuff off my iPhone just to make room for this scope, in fact, because I want it saved to my phone. So those are just a few ways that you can repurpose your scope and not feel like you're adding one more thing. You're actually um, using your scope in a wise way and you're killing more than one bird with one stone, okay? The next thing that you can do and why I think it's super important for you to be scoping if you're a blogger is if you have any sort of product you sell, if you love to sell um, through Amazon affiliates or any other affiliate, uh, if you have an ebook, if you have anything at all that you sell, you can sell it on Periscope. You can share all about it. And uh, also I've seen people who have online classes they are filling up their classes in seconds and minutes because instead of waiting for everyone to get their email and click on the link and sign up, they're sharing all about the class. Their audience is seeing them face to face and people are going and signing up quickly. So a lot of people are having great success in monetizing um, their blog or their website just straight from Periscope. So you can't, hey, we're all about that, right? Who doesn't want to make a little money? So Periscope is a great way to do that. All right, so another reason why I think you should be on Periscope, I mentioned earlier, and that was that I um, I made a, um, it was a jalapeno cilantro coleslaw. I made it for lunch, and I filmed it and, and scoped it, and I showed everyone what I did. I chopped up. I did sort of the prep work in advance, so no one had to sit and watch me do all that prep work, but I basically showed them how to put it together. And so you could do that with crafts and DIY projects, and it's just a great way to show um, more specifically how to do things because sometimes it's hard to follow uh, instructions just from reading and, and this way people can actually see you doing it. So that's pretty cool. Okay, here's one of my favorite things about scoping. And I think this might be, well, there's a few really important reasons. This is up there in my top three reasons of why I think bloggers ought to be on Periscope. You have a chance to engage with your audience in a way that no other social media platform affords. For instance, you all could be asking me questions. Um, actually, if you have questions, I'd love if you'd wait till towards the end. But when you are on Periscope, your listeners or your viewers rather can ask you questions in real time and you can answer them while you're talking. They can provide feedback and comments. And I was watching a scope the other day with Shalene Johnson, who's just amazing. And, and someone said, um, your bra is showing. And so, you know, you just get instant feedback. And I think it's a great way for your audience to get to know you. In fact, that's 
point number four is uh, it just provides an awesome way for your, your audience to get to know you a little bit more. They can see you behind the scenes. They can see your personality. It's really hard for people to see a personality on paper or on the computer screen. And so this way people get to know you. They feel they know you because it's like you're looking at me as though I'm on FaceTime with you. And I, hey, I hope I'm looking at you guys like FaceTime soon when you all do your first scope. Okay, number five. This is my fifth one, last one. Um, sometimes as bloggers we go to events that we might want to write about or publicize. Um, Hi Palmetto Publish. Um, we go to events that we might even be paid to be there to um, publicize. And so what a great way to share what's going on at a live event in your hometown than to be live streaming it on Periscope. So, hey, do y'all have any questions? This would be a great time to ask. If you have any questions or comments, love to hear them. Um, here's a really important thing. You wanna get on here and you wanna do it quickly because right now, if you get on Periscope and start broadcasting live now, you're an early settler. This thing is brand new. It's just gotten really popular really this summer. I mean, it's been around a few months, but it seems like it's really taken off this June and July. Um, yes, I'll get to that in just a sec. Um, it's really taken off in June and July of this year and August. And so if you get on uh, right now, you're gonna be an early settler and it's gonna be a lot easier to get people to follow you and to watch your scopes than if you wait another month, two months, three months, because this thing is not going away. It's just not, it's it's big and it's hot and it's, it's so much fun. And I do wanna share with you that um, this week I've been sharing blog posts. Um, I've only, I've only blogged about periscoping this week. It's a little series called Discovering Periscope. And I really have wanted to encourage people to hop on. So if you want to go to my site, it's uh, tablerpartyof2.com. And for those of you who've popped on here a little bit late, my name's Andrea. And um, at tablerpartyof2.com, you can see what I've posted this week. Um, the first one was why everybody, why you and everybody should be on Periscope. And then yesterday I shared, here it's in the screen, 10 tips to build your confidence for your first Periscope. So you might want to go back and catch that on the blog. And you can also um, go to catch.me and you can see that um, recording of me sharing other information about that. Okay, so Karen, I believe it is, asked me, um, to repeat the catch.me info. All right, it's K-A-T-C-H dot me. And it'll just ask you for your Twitter information and you don't have to do a thing. It just, as long as you are tweeting through um, Twitter, it's not tweeting, as long as you're scoping through Twitter and not signed up by your iPhone, by your phone number, um, catch.me will catch everything. And I don't know who it was that just said that, but yes, periscoping is so much fun. I'm glad you're loving it. I'm glad you're loving it. I am too. I was, I honestly was pretty scared um, for my first one and my husband was laughing his head off at me um, because I was so nervous. <laughs> and then the next night I did my second one and I really wasn't. So if, if you're a little bit nervous, oh, thanks for hearts. Tap, tap hearts if you've done a scope. I'd love to see who all on here has done a scope. Um, if you haven't done it because you're nervous, just trust me that the way to get over it is just do it, and after your first one, you're gonna be just fine, and you'll just get better from there. You're not gonna get better thinking about it, but you will get better if you just get on and do it. So, okay, are there any questions? No questions. Um, so remember, cross-purpose, repurpose. I'm gonna just go back through the points really quick for those of you who hopped on here late. All right, why you should be scoping, not just watching scopes, but why you should be broadcasting if you are a blogger. All right, number one, it's a great way to repurpose material. It's not adding something else to your list of things to do. It's really different than that. It's the opposite. It, you can repurpose material and you can share things on Periscope and uh, and then blog about it later. And you know, it's cool, wait, another little tip. When you're in front of the camera and you're talking live, you're under some sort of pressure to just share what's on your heart. And I don't know why it works this way, but you tend to just say what you wanna say and and you do it quickly. And, and it's sometimes it's the most um, concise and from the heart information that you can share. 
And so I encourage you to do that. Okay, point number two is you can sell products. Anything that you sell on your blog, you can sell through Periscope. You can refer people to, thank you, hope you'll be back again. You can refer people to your blog and tell them. For instance, um, Scopra, I mentioned her before. Um, she has an Amazon store. And she'll say, ah, you like this top? Hey, head over to my Amazon store. It's there. You can buy it. Or another idea would be, I have just recently purchased my Lumi light. It's an iPhone case. I know that's sort of blinding. It's an iPhone 6 case. And I just put it near me. And um, I don't have a fancy light yet. So this is my lighting for periscopes. So pretty soon I'll have an Amazon store. And people, I'll be able to say, hey, go over to my Amazon store. And you can see what that light is that I have. And you can order it there. So that was point number two. Point number three. I'm going to hurry through this. Point number three was you can use Periscope to demonstrate your crafts and your recipes. And people can watch you do it. Point number four, you get to know your audience and interact with them live. And point number five was you can broadcast live from events. And sometimes us bloggers um, are at live events and we do want to get the word out. So it's a great way to do that. All right, so if there aren't any questions, I just want to thank you for being here. Again, my, name's, my name is Andrea. I blog at Taylor Party of Two. Thank you for your encouragement that this was great. Hey, can you give some hearts since it was great? Thanks. That's awesome. I love pink hearts and purple hearts. Those are my favorite ones. Um, I blog at Taylor Party of Two, and I hope to just encourage you, and I hope that you have a most blessed afternoon, and thank you again for being here. God bless.